Another thing going on here. Dennis is holding his his, his hand up. Is there something you need to to, to tell me? Real. Uh, all this transfer portal news. I got a little more I, for I, you. I'm so curious right now. Paul, our program director, came in and it, it looked like like eyes the wide as wide as saucers there. Seth Tremble, North Carolina transfer portal. Well, everything I said about Seth Trimble taking a bigger <laughs> role next year, I want you to know I did not know that was on the way. Seth Trimble, really? You know, you know what this is? This is you don't have to be upset to to want to leave. Seth Trimble, and and you can correct me. You obviously uh, were around him as as much as I was. Uh, he announced this on his Instagram, by the way. Um, his parents sat right behind us at the ACC tournament. Seemed to be having the time of their lives. Yeah, uh, he had one of the the biggest electric plays, a dunk in the ACC tournament that got had everyone out of their 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 seat. Uh, Seth during media availability always had a smile on his face. Always seemed like he was enjoying himself. You brought it up earlier, right? Just because you're having success, just because somebody has a role on your team, doesn't mean they're all gonna stay. That one's surprising to me because obviously the the reason might be like that might be a Listen, I love everyone at North Carolina. I enjoyed my time. There's something I'm looking for that that isn't available here or maybe a role that's bigger. I want to be featured and I'm former this, former that recruit. It's like there there was not the parent tweeting about role as kind of the canary in the mind early in the season in the mind early in the season. It was it was much more of a uh this one kind of comes out of nowhere for me. So he posted it on his Instagram. I, honestly, Instant reaction thought on this. Maybe he's thinking, well, if R.J. Davis comes back and L.A. Kido comes back, I want to be a starter. I'm going to be in the year three. I want to start somewhere. And honestly, he could start for a lot of places. Oh, heck a yeah. A lot of places. Um, do you think that now we're into inference? The, the news is Seth Trimble announced on his Instagram he is going in the transfer portal. Mm-hmm. Um, do you think that that was in, in kind of a – would the catalyst for that was maybe a text to his buddy RJ, like, "Hey, be real with me. Is there a spot for me to start at the the shooting guard? Yeah. Or, or you know, you you have the resume, the bona fides. I'm I'm aware of what happens if you come back. Uh, like just just shoot it shoot it straight with me. And maybe like a maybe it wasn't like, hey, I'm coming back. You probably want to bounce. It may have been. I don't know. I'm seventy thirty. He played a vital role for Carolina this past. Season. I'm a big fan of Seth Trump. Yeah, as am I. Here's here's where we have to get into the now again. This is all play in, great defense. This is all time, inferring, trying to read tea leaves here. Um, I think a big reason why I didn't agree. A big reason why I didn't agree with the way Hubert Davis coached their Sweet 16 loss is because in the second half, Elliot Cadeau and Seth Trimble were basically relegated to audience members. Mm-hmm. They they the two of them combined in the second half played as much as uh, uh, Wojcik. Uh, which yeah, Paxton Wojcik. Uh, I always want to call him Peyton Wojcik. Yeah, uh, Paxton Wojcik. Which which is he he was not. There were two points in the season he was not playing in the rotation really no. at all. And then in in one of the biggest games or the biggest game, right? Because it's the one that ended their season. He played as much as as Seth Trimble and Elliot Cadeau combined in the second half. Could that have been a, a oh? That's what you think of me. I don't. I mean, again, you, you you have to look into it. And and players, I'll tell you exactly when we're going to learn what really happened with Seth Trimble. Okay, I'll tell you this will be the exact moment we learn why he transferred. Probably 15 years from now, he'll be on Theo Pinson or Tyler Hansborough's <laughs> podcast, and and they'll they'll say like, who do you, who's our biggest rival, Duke or State, and they'll they'll laugh about that. Then they'll they'll tell some stories about Armando Baycott, and then they'll go. So what really happened? And and he'll say, "Man, this is what happened," and he'll explain it, and it'll be something that none of us saw coming. But that's that's just the the life cycle of a North Carolina player at this point. Uh, we get the real stories. Raymond Felton just went on some podcast and aired some dirty laundry with Rashad McCants, uh, and McCants is on a podcast with Gilbert Arenas airing dirty laundry constantly. Um, so it's it's that's kind of the the life cycle of a North Carolina player. You play at North Carolina, you have your success, you have your struggles, whatever it is. You go on to life outside North Carolina. A few years later, you're on a podcast, and you you to use the term the kids use, you spill the tea. 